Algebra 1, number 5.2c, we're finishing up talking about exponents, and this is raising a quotient to a power. So the rule for raising a quotient to a power is similar to raising a product to a power. We learn to raise a product to a power, we just multiply what's inside as the base to the exponent. So 5 to the third power raised to the second power would be 5 to the 3 times 2, or 5 to the sixth power. Well, for a quotient, this little 3 exponent goes to both the numerator and the denominator. So we would have 2 to the 12th power over 5 to the 6th power. See? So just as it went to the inside of the parentheses as this is the base, the numerator is a base and the denominator is a base to that exponent. See? We multiply each exponent to the power outside the parentheses. And if we have 1 to the 3rd power with a little n outside, it's read as 1 3rd to the nth power. If it was a little 3 outside, it would be 1 3rd to the 3rd power, right? And if we see 3 to the nth with over this 4 with an n, it's read as 3 to the nth power divided by 4 to the nth power. And if these were actual numbers, we could say like 3 to the second power over 4 to the second power or, you know, whatever the power is, and we do it in ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are numbers that are in order. Ordinal numbers are like grade school, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So we would read those in ordinal numbers, okay? And the exponent only affects the variable or number it's next to. So this variable only affects this numerator, and this variable only affects this denominator. This one if the exponent is on the outside of the parentheses, it gets distributed to each of the values inside the parentheses, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So it's just like distributing it, but now we're going to distribute it to the numerator and to the denominator, okay? So we've got x to the third power over 3 to the second power, and they're raised to the second power. We distribute this one to the x to the third and get x to the sixth. We distribute this one to 3 to the 2nd and get 3 to the 4th, and we can't do anything with the x to the 6th because we don't know what its value is, but we can do the 3 to the 4th and simplify that. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81. So it's x to the 6th power divided by 81 when it's simplified. See? So here's the formal third power rule for exponents. As I said a couple videos ago, in the last video, there's three of these. This is raising a quotient to a power for any non-zero. So it can't be zero, rational numbers a and b, and any whole number n. If you have a over b to the nth power, it means a to the nth power divided by b to the nth power. Okay, and that's the third and last power rule for exponents. So the quotient rule to... The quotient to a power rule for exponents allows us to multiply the numerator by the power and then the denominator by the power. a to the third divided by 2 is a to the 3 times 2, a to the 6, divided by 2 to the second power. 2 to the second power is 2 times 2. So now, simplified, we've got a to the sixth power, because we don't know what a is, it stays the same, over 4. And now it's simplified, see? See how we did that? a to the sixth over 2 times 2 is 4. All right? Let's take a look at this one with more variables in it. We have a divided by b to the fourth power c. This 3 exponent is going to get distributed to each one of these. So we're going to end up with a to the third power, because there's like a little invisible 1 there, isn't there? And b to the twelfth, because 3 times 4 is 12. And then c to the third, and that's simplified. See? Look at this one. This has got a negative. We've got 2k divided by negative j raised to the fourth power. The 4 is going to get distributed to each one of these. So we're going to end up with 2 to the fourth power, k to the fourth power, divided by negative j to the fourth power. And we can't simplify the k and the j, but we can simplify that too, can't we? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So we end up with 16k4 divided by negative j to the fourth power, and now it's simplified, okay? This rule for quotients and exponents doesn't include zero. If we've got zero over two raised to the second power, 
This means 0 divided into 2 parts 2 times. And 0 can't be divided into 2 parts. That's undefined. And if we have the 2 on the top as the numerator divided by 0 raised to the second power, that's 2 divided into 0 parts 2 times. 2 can't be divided into 0 parts. These are undefined because they can't be done. It doesn't include the 0. And I'm sorry, little 0. It doesn't include you. So be careful and watch out for this 0. And you can see this video's description for the links to the previous similar or helpful videos on this topic. I hope I explained this well enough. I know this is, can be very, very confusing. But if you watched 5.2a, b, and c, you should have a pretty good grasp on these exponents right now, okay? And there'll be links in the description to help you some more if you need it, all right? I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about monomials. Bye.